All right, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, it's your boy, the best reactor on the internet, Chris Allen. And today, I have a special guest with me. We somehow got him again, Jeff Kaplan from the former Overwatch team. Hi, guys. Jeff from the Overwatch team. Thank you so much for taking time to meet with me again, Jeff. I have COVID, so stay away from me. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll stay away, Jeff. Make yeah. sure like, you really stay the fuck away. Don't come too close. I, I, I will, Jeff. I will. Thank, thank you for taking the time to meet with me it's today. It's Mr. Kaplan. Thank you, Mr. You. Kaplan. You, uh, um, only unemployed people could call me Jeff. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry. I said it wrong because of the COVID. Only employed <laughs> people could call me Jeff. Thank you, Mr. Kaplan. So after, okay, okay. That was, that was just weird. Okay, just I, call me what call me Jeff. Call me Jeff. After your uh after my interview with you last time, uh, I had an outcry from the fans to bring you back. So today we're going to be reacting to the Junker Queen gameplay trailer. I'm going to be giving my thoughts as well as some uh oversight here from Jeff Kaplan. So uh uh Jeff Kaplan, do you have anything to say before we start? So when we're making the Junker Queen, you know, because we've been working on this for uh, longer than when League of Legends came out. Actually, this okay. is way before League. So we we're working over, on this. like over thirteen years now. Okay. Yeah, and <laughs> we we tried we tried different names like Trash Queen. Okay, Garbage uh, Queen. <laughs> we 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 got inspired by uh, if you ever played uh Mega Man Battle Network Six, there's a <laughs> character named Dustman. Yeah. So we were inspired by that, you know, oh, that great design, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, you know, we've been at this for a while. So, <laughs> oh. you know, if, if you look at, like, how she looks, you know, the end result, right? Okay. Uh, I don't know why they put queen. I, I guess, you know, they made a mistake. Because okay. it's supposed to be the the the, 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 the junker prince. Oh, so, you know, okay. uh, whoever's working at Blizzard messed up. Oh, as usual, okay. No, I haven't looked at this in the last two years, but I'm pretty sure they kept my design. Wow, thank you for telling us that, Jeff Kaplan. Really diving into the details no one else knows. All right, let's begin. Let's see if uh, it reminds me at all of uh, Dustman from Mega Man Battle Network 6. Okay. Here we go. Oh, shit. Uh, who the fuck is that? I don't know. Oh, my... Havoc and chaos. Yo, why is she running like that? Oh my god. She missed the knife. That means she missed the knife. No mercy, but she literally showed the guy mercy. Oh my. I think that's an emote. Probably. I feel like her gun does like no damage, but I like it. It looks very satisfying. Yeah. Over here, Bastion. Oh, Bastion. Ooh, she broke him. Oh my god, you see her cleavage. Yo, oh my. Why does she put Samba like that? Yo, look at her cleavage and booty. Is she flying, is it? Oh, shit. Yo, she likes it. Oh my. Junker Queen Hook. Oh my god! Oh, she didn't like that. Jesus. Oh my, she killed Jameson! She's so jacked. Oh shit, the ulti. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm not too impressed. Well, before I respond, why, why aren't you impressed? So, this is the main thing I have, right? Obviously, it's a trailer. Obviously, they're going to show her, like, you know, doing good and stuff, right? So, she two-shot Zenyatta. I don't think she can actually two-shot Zenyatta. If she can, what is Zenyatta's health? Uh, is it, what, 200, I think? So, that means she can do 200 damage with two shots. That's impossible. So Zenyatta was already damaged. She one-shot Roadhog, which obviously is not true. The Reaper was doing it, so she ks Reaper. I'm like, my main thing is, I'm just curious about her numbers. Her kit, to me, will be fully dependent on her damage numbers, the way I see it. Well, I mean, like, she's a tank, right? How much damage numbers does she have? 
I mean, true. I mean, she's a tank, but remember, there's only one tank now. The tanks can't, like, just be CC. I know they're pushing towards that, but they can't just be CC. They have to do, like, decent damage, right? Like, her CC is, like, her knife. And you have to land it. So if you're not a good player, you basically have no CC on her. Uh. Okay. I'm trying to see, right? What is that? I don't remember this ability. What is I'm, that? I'm assuming, I think she gives everyone like a buff or something. Does the buff around give armor or something? I think it speeds, makes people run faster. Okay, so Lucio, okay. Okay. Like, this is probably her, like, her heavy damage move. Yeah, I but can like, understand who, this killing who people. Hit this? I mean, yeah, you have to be in melee for this. This is like, she has a good combo. She shoots you, she gets the knife in you, she pulls you towards her, she finishes you with the axe. Like, I can see that being her combo, for sure. Because this has to do damage, right? Like, this has to do, in my mind, at oh. least 75 damage. Chris, um, you know, how, how do you feel about that look? Um, I feel like there's definitely some base sexual urges involved in that. Like, I you feel know, like I'm she gets brick off of uh, what she's doing. Uh, I'm Jeff Kappa. I'm not going to respond to that. Okay. Like, yo, oh. yo, Junker Queen Hook. Junker Queen Hook. 12 Junker Queens, one ho ho. Oh, no. I'm going to tell you the other problem I have, which you already know, because I've told you before, Jeff Kaplan, but let's see. Like, I feel like the knife will almost never kill someone. Because it's a CC ability, like, they don't want it to do too much damage to kill someone because they want it to pull. And then she kills Junkrat. I like the axe. The axe is the one thing I like. Like, that should do damage because it's sharp. This is the no, main thing. I, I heard... Th I'm not sure if it's for... You know, when we were developing her, you know, I I wanted her to, like spin around, land, and give a little dance, you okay. know? A little lap dance, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and, um, but only for certain characters they would get it. Like, for example, if it was, uh, if it was Bastion, she'll give him a lap dance, right? Okay. But if it's somebody, like, we don't like, like, freaking, um, I don't know. I don't, you know, Robot. I can't say it. I mean, uh, Rohan's kind of thick, you know? Uh, Junkrat. You know, J John Jameson, so I don't know. Yeah. Like, I like it. I'll say Genji. Okay, right? okay. Genji, you know, nobody likes Genji. We like to bully Genji. We make fun of Genji players. Yeah. But, you know, the plan was that she just slaughters them. But, you know, with Bastion, you know, especially with his little gun hole, she gives, like, a little dance. So, I, you know, I heard rumors that this one right here heals her when she ults them. Okay, so let's see. Time for the big finish. I think he heals her, that's good. My Okay, so I have a couple issues with this, so... These are, again, these are all issues that could be remedied once we figure out her actual numbers, which, uh, if you would kindly remind me, Mr. Jeff Kaplan, when is the beta with her coming out? Well, I'm not working for the company no more, but if I was going to work with the company, it would be the 28th. Okay, okay. So, I don't think this has too wide of a range, honestly. I don't think it's big enough. They have to be lined up, which in a real game, unless you have CC... Like, and th I'm assuming this has to be decently telegraphed to, like, she starts spinning it up, she's probably going to say an audio cue. So you're going to know to get away from your teammates. So at that point, you need some sort of setup, like a, like, I could see this doing perfectly with a Graviton, but at that point, you can also do just Anna Grenade with a Graviton, same effect. So it needs to uh, do granted, like, good damage. In my granted, mind, I mean, good damage. there is only one tank, however... The counter argument to that oh, would be right. yeah, she can't have you know, sorry anymore. So the thing is, is shield, right? Yeah. Like if if they're running Ryan shield and a grenade, it's kind of hard to hit. True. In a way, right? I think so. In she that respect, that. yeah, that's good. But I think it I should think, fucking break a shield. I should. I should, I think it should just break the shield. I I think the main thing that they're going for here is to keep her. She seems very mobile. She's a very I mobile. I would say that. The only mobility she has is her ult. She seems like she kind of charges in. 
In well, a yeah, way. but she just walks. The only thing I think yeah, she, she gets is walk. from the shout, which you said was move speed, and that's no, it. No, like the way I, the way I'm interpreting it, right? It's like she's not diva or wrecking ball or the other tank that I was working on, Shalumpa. Oh yeah, right? yeah. I think they uh, scrapped so like, that one, but yeah, they did. They, they, they said that you know I, I can't say it because we're you know we're NDA, on YouTube. NDA. NDA. Yeah. So if you notice, like it's kind of her pushing in, bringing people towards her. And then, she can only do it one at a time, and we don't know the cooldown of the knife. I'm assuming it's not that it, low. It's true, but it seems like because uh, look at all her like her weapons. She has a shotgun, which we assume is up close. Yeah, we have medium a knife top close, that, medium top close. Yeah, and we have a knife that brings you closer, yeah. kind of like porn, right? Yeah, and she has oh. a, she has an axe. <laughs> yeah, for melee, so like melee range. She's a like, very upfront tank that yeah. you need to be uh, close with. The the goal, I think, at the end of the day, is for her to just to get close. Yeah. So I when agree. I say mobile, I meant to say like she pushes in. Okay. She seems like she has to push in. Yeah, or else she's useless. I don't know how she'd be a good defense. That you know that I don't the know. Best defense is a good offense. But the counter argument is a best a best uh, offense is a best defense. Wow, you're so wise, Jeff Kaplan. No, so you know, like look at that. She heads them. I don't know. I just hope it does good damage. The anti is pretty big, but I just hope it does good damage. Let's uh, 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 let's look at uh, let's look at, let's look at uh, her abilities again. Okay. Um, is there a video with that on the internet? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't work there anymore, so it's kind of because we don't yeah. have the numbers. So yeah, Here, well, we could do. Uh, uh, we could look at this person. In case you missed it, there was just a. Big, big, big Overwatch 2 reveal stream that- I have a sneaking suspicion she's not gonna say the abilities. They did, and there was so I have a sneaking that suspicion that she likes Pikachu and, uh, and Demon Slayer. Between Maybe. A battle pass, customizable skins, cross-play, cross-progression, like so I don't think stuff. she likes D.Va, though. And understandably oh, yeah. so, it's a lot of stuff to process. So I actually think she's a junk rat, man. So I thought that I'd make this short video just to recap I think she was Odunga, man. her weapons, her ultimate, everything like that. Just short, simple, sweet, and to the point. Okay. Hope you enjoy and please subscribe. Introducing Junker Queen. Whoa. She's the newest tank hero in Overwatch 2. Oh, okay. are you sleeping? Yeah. Oh Learned my, look at her. Base HP, yeah. she I heard one of your friends, Elijah, likes, uh, likes Junker Queen. Yeah. And a blade. She also has some sort of magnetic... <laughs> Wait, let me... Does it show the cooldown here, actually? A shotgun. It's six seconds. That's pretty good. Pretty Fushno. good. And a blade. She also has some sort of magnetic field in her wrist cuff, which Whoa. we'll see more of that later. Her like, let me see something here. She also has here. some sort of magnetic field in her wrist cuff, which we'll see. That's an ally or an enemy? That's an ally, Hanzo, right? An ally. We'll see yeah. More of that later. Yeah, I don't know. Like, she obviously hits those two, but I don't feel like it's big enough. I feel like a lot of people are either going to miss it or not hit a lot of people with it. Unless you use it very well. Her primary right. fire is a shotgun, and her secondary is a jagged blade, which is a blade that Junker Queen nicknamed Grace. Jagged blade as her secondary fire is a skill shot ability where you throw her blade out. Okay. If your skill shot lands on a target, it pulls them into you, similar to a roadhog hook. I'm sure oh, look, we're all... They're like they're like bleeding damage too. I think when they get stuck or something, right? If your skill or... shot lands on a target. Uh, no, I think that might just be the effect, maybe, but I'm not it sure. Pulls them into you. If it's similar a bleed, that's really good. To a roadhog hook. I'm sure we're all excited about a hook 2.0. If you use your quick melee... What? Well, pause. Using... It... Isn't it kind of weird, Mr. Uh, what, what do I call you? Uh, you can call me Mr. Allen. Okay, so Chris. Okay. Uh, you know, do you think this YouTuber could see the future? Because you just referenced that they were a hog. Uh, I mean, I did that because they showed the clip of her knifing hog oh, wow. and then pulling him into the hole. Which, no. to me, uh, like says hog hook. Could she be a hacker? Do you think that maybe she hacked, like... I think she's copying Twitch TV and YouTube.com slash Technics channel, if you want my uh, honest opinion. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm a fan of that that channel. You know, it's a, it's a oh. little sad that, you know, people don't watch it, but, you know, I, I, I watch agree. it. I agree, Jeff Kaplan. Let, let's keep watching. Her fist, <laughs> Junker Queen uses Jagged Blade, and it does a little extra damage compared Ooh. to the other heroes. She also has an axe that she could swing around, similar to Reinhardt's hammer, but it's on a cooldown. It's called Carnage. Her ult, Ram. So where's the yell? There's no yell. 
What do you mean? The, remember they showed a yell in the trailer? There's no yell. Oh yeah, I don't see it. Junker Queen creates magnetic field whirlwind and dashes Were we just going crazy? Everybody that's in the range and also gives them a debuff that makes them unable to be healed. She also heals herself in the process. This okay, is pretty much a summary of what we know so far of Junker Queen. Wait, so... There's no <coughs> way. Jeff Kaplan, I'm so confused. Yeah, I feel like maybe they... Get they the fuck out of here. Uh, scatter gun, jagged blade. Here we go. Passive. Uh, heal from all damage over time dealt by wounds. Several of her abilities include jagged blade, conjure rampage, wound enemies, causing them to take damage over time. So she has dot. She does have dot. So isn't that that's a, that's the bleeding effect thing? I was saying, right? Uh, yes. See, see now, Je you see what's gonna happen to Jesse? Oh, um, I don't know. You know ac ac according to your stream, you know, uh. One of your uh, brown friends. She does have a shot. She's always what yelling. She does have one. It's a support esque ability that grants a buff to nearby enemies. When used, Junker Queen increases her own health by 200 and close by allies' health by 100 and increases move speed. Wow. Okay. Okay. I, I see. I see. Um, Go down honestly, this next makes step. me think she's better now. Honestly, I think she's better now. Okay. Let's. What what does it say for her alt to rampage? Uh, it she will start rapidly swinging her axe, rushing forward. Any enemies hit by the whirlwind will be wounded, meaning they'll take damage over time. Struck enemies also receive an anti heal debuff for a short period of time. Oh, so I was I mean, uh, Vishal was right. Uh, yes, yes. Honestly, this makes me think now that I know that the blade, I'm assuming the axe too. And the ult give a bleed effect. I mean, obviously, again, we're going to have to see numbers, but I think she's way better than I initially thought now. Now that I know she has, like, bleed. So it's... even if you don't kill them, they can still, like, that. Like, if you don't kill them just straight up with the pure damage you're doing. So, I mean, I see two ways to really play her now. Like, she heals with damage, right? Yeah, dot. Only from the so... wounds, though. So... Her alt now is going to be using it to just damage to heal or to try to get away. Um, that, like, maybe I would think it's more of a team fighting ulti, though. I mean, but th th let's just say, I you mean, know. you could use it as an escape if you need to, but I think that's a wasting of the ult. I think, you like, that's a waste of it. It's like, imagine a Zen, you use your ult to, like, live through Riptire. It's like, yeah, you'll live through it, but your teammates will die. You're kind of wasting the ult at that point. You know, one thing I'll say, they they really try to give her a lot of assets to survive, too. Which, you know, she's a solo tank, right? Yeah, I think they have to do that a lot with tanks now. They, have, they either have to make the tank good at killing or good at surviving. Yeah, I mean, that's what, that's the Ryan issue right now. Ryan's not doing good, apparently. Well, yeah, because he's getting overshadowed by everything else. I think Ryan yeah. is like, he need, they need to add more. Ryan is so basic and so behind because he's one of the well, obviously he's one of the original tanks. So what? They just gave him a second fire strike. That's nothing. Yeah, that's honestly and, nothing. And, and he could charge, and um, he could cancel his charge. Oh, he can cancel it now. Yeah, he could charge multiple oh, people, shit. but it does less damage. Wait, so you can't one shot with it? Ah, I think if they're very very squishy. But like if the, they're like, not, you can't one shot with it anymore. I don't think so. But you can get multiple people. Yeah. Oh, wow. I did not know that at all. But that's a conversation for a different day. This video is already going too long. Um, Whoa! Jeff Kaplan is here. Jeff Kaplan decides th when. Thank you when, for your God. time, Jeff Kaplan, for helping me yeah. react and break down the Junker Queen's gameplay uh, trailer. Wait, what about Final Impressions? Uh, Final Impressions, I said I think she's a lot better than I initially thought. What about me? Like, can I uh, not? Is... Well, you're actually under NDA because you left the Overwatch team, so uh, well, you know, you're not allowed to say your opinion. My contract doesn't end till tomorrow, so I can still do it. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, um, Jeff, from the Overwatch team. You know, make sure you guys subscribe and follow twitch.tv slash technic channels for more great analysis on mm -hmm. the jungle. Mm -hmm. okay. and, you know, and over here, you know, Chris over here. And the boys. That's me. You know, That's me. If if we call them boys, yeah. you know. Sometimes we're uh, girls. <laughs> um, you know, we get to see live on October twenty eighth, uh, Overwatch two beta. 
the uh-huh. team that you know I I left. Yeah. So yeah. you know, I mean, make sure you guys support support uh-huh. him. Uh-huh. He wants to be a big streamer. Yes, yes, I do, I do. Uh, Thank you so and- much for bringing that up, Jeff Kaplan. No problem, no problem. No, that's my analysis on All the right. Junker Club. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want more interviews and reactions with Jeff Kaplan, please tell me in the comments below. And um, I hope everyone has a great day.